Hey everybody, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library and today we're talking about a couple of awesome end of the summer books. Yay! Our first one is called Camp Whatever. For those of you who aren't ready for the summer to be over quite yet, this is a great choice. It's by Chris Grine. It is a graphic novel. We all know they are my one true love. In this book, Willow, the main character, has just moved to a strange, new, and extremely foggy town with her family, and while her parents and her little brother are getting the place set up, she is going to the same camp her dad went to when he was a kid called Cam... whatever, no one seems to know the name of the place. Like I said, it's weird. While at the camp, she meets the weird new camp director who's kind of loud, kind of a bully, kind of not very nice, and he's obsessed with strange creatures. But then, in the middle of the night, everybody's snacks disappear through the whole camp. They all just poof, and it's just the start of a string of very odd things that happen, which makes Willow have to rethink what the word weird really means. What's particularly cool about this book, in addition to all of the different creatures that are in it, uh, is that Willow herself is deaf, and there's a lot of ASL signs in the book she and several others know at ASL and they use it to communicate. So that's a pretty nifty touch that you don't often see. So this is a fun, exciting, and funny book. And for those of us who are ready for the school year to start, this one is a bit more poignant, but a very powerful book. It's called Starfish by Lisa Phipps. This one is a book in verse, which is a good choice if you're starting to get back into the reading habit for the school year, but you're not quite ready yet to read solid blocks of text all the way through type novels. In this book, Ellie, the main character, has been bullied all her life for being plus-sized by her peers and most of her family. Happily, her dad is her staunch supporter in her family. And she's been bullied to the point where she now lives by a set of self-written fat girl rules, which is really kind of sad. Through the course of this book, she learns through the help of new friends and a new therapist, she learns how to value herself and how to stand up for herself without becoming a bully. And it's, it's a really good book. And it also involves swimming and lots of other, and she has a pug, which is really cute. It's a very good story about figuring out who you are and finding your own voice and finding your own value. So this is a very good choice and it's been getting a lot of rave reviews all over the kid book oriented interwebs. So give this one a try. It is Starfish by Lisa Phipps. Join us again in another couple of weeks for another couple great books and have a great time in the meantime. Bye.